Hey, welcome to Electron Online and to get you a better um, idea, a better concept of how viscosity works under different temperatures, let's take a look at viscosity of water for temperatures ranging from 10 degrees centigrade when, oh, okay, I should put a 10 there, not a zero, otherwise I'm not correct here, from 10 degrees centigrade all the way up to 100 degrees centigrade. And notice how the viscosity drops off quite dramatically. Now you can see it's kind of like a 1 over x function, so you can see the typical curve of 1 over x, but you can see that the viscosity continues to decline after water reaches temperatures higher than 100 degrees and when it's several hundred degrees you can see that the viscosity gets rather small. So there's a dramatic difference between the viscosity of water at very high temperatures versus water at very low temperatures. Of course, how do you get water to be at higher temperatures beyond 100 um, 100 degrees centigrade, then of course that would have to be under pressure. You'd have to put water under a lot of pressure to keep that uh, water in a liquid in a liquid form. Viscosity of water vapor, of course, would be very, very small because all gases have a much lower viscosity than liquids. But the typical curve that we see there, the 1 over x curve that we see for water, is very typical for all fluids. Um, I don't know of any exceptions to it. There may be, but I don't know of any where the viscosity simply decreases with increasing temperature. That has a lot to do with the, the, the motion of the molecules in the liquid as the temperature goes up. They're more likely to travel over one another. They're, it makes it easier for them to travel forward and for the fluid to flow. Under colder temperatures, the molecular forces tend to adhere, the molecules tend to adhere to each other a little bit more. The, the molecular bonds a little stronger, makes it more difficult for the fluid to flow and therefore the viscosity goes up. But here you have a nice example of what that looks like. Notice that it's roughly about 20% of the viscosity at, at 100 degrees versus the temp when the water is at 10 degrees. So it's about a 5 to 1 ratio between 10 degrees and 100 degrees. It's quite a bit of difference. So if you want to move fluids through a pipe, you want the viscosity to be lower, definitely raising the temperature would be one way to make that easier. Less force required, less energy required, less friction, less uh, viscosity when that happens, when you increase the temperature. And there you go. That's how we know these things.